This is an autonomous guided vehicle, known as an AGV, and it can map the world around it using LiDAR, it can move in any direction using mechanum wheels, it has an onboard camera, and can be hooked up to any additional sensors you want. On an industrial scale, AGVs are really popular in autonomous warehouse settings or used to map and scan large outdoor areas for purposes like agriculture. And probably the most common version of this that jumps out at you for a home setting is something like a Roomba, those little automated vacuum cleaners. This AGV in particular is called the My AGV and comes from the company Elephant Robotics. More about them later in the video. Just quickly checking the thing out after unboxing it, my initial reaction is that this is a dense machine. It has some serious heft to it, and it has an engraving on the bottom with the product and a QR code link to the manual, which is super nice. Then moving up to kind of the top console area of the AGV, we have our power button, we have our optional power feed to a robot that we'll get into later, our general purpose input and output ports, and then our USB and HDMI ports for hooking up to a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. And we have the charging port on the side, as well as an LED that we can customize to any color while we run the thing and program it. On the sides are these cool mechanism wheels that we're going to get into in more detail in just a minute. And then also on the sides are these inserts for additional batteries. And the AGV does come with one pretty powerful battery, but if you really want to extend your runtime in life, you can hook up a second battery just as easy as popping it into this side pocket. On the top of the body, there are all these mounting holes and options so that you have so many different ways that you can put whatever mechanism you want on top of the AGV. As we'll talk about later in the video, this can work with other Elephant Robotics six-axis robots, but you can also design whatever top of AGV tooling you want to put on here. And just so you don't get lost while you're programming your AGV, the front of the car is away from these buttons and ports and the rear is in the back, and then right and left are as follows. First thing I did when I got this vehicle was boot it up, and since it's running a Raspberry Pi, this was as easy as plugging it into a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. There's a Python library to call the basic movement commands for the AGV, so with a few really basic lines of code referencing their API, I was already able to get it moving. And right away, this showcases one of the cool things about this car, which is this use of mechanum wheels. Mechanum wheels are basically a bunch of rounded cylinders that get mounted to the wheel hubs at an angle, but are still each able to freely rotate. Basic car wheels push on the surface they're driving on in the direction that they're spinning, creating an opposite friction force that pulls the car exactly in that direction. But mechanum wheels create force vectors that have X and Y components relative to the body of the car. This means by rotating every wheel's cylinders 90 degrees from the wheels adjacent to it, we can create a net force in any direction just by the changes of direction and speed in our wheels. So forwards or backwards is just all four wheels in the same direction. Panning side to side requires one side's wheels to spin away from each other while the other side rolls towards one another. And zero turn rotation can be achieved by having each side turn in the same direction, but with the two sides opposite from each other. And there are other cool moves but you get the point. So if we play around with these various moves we can see some of the benefits of this type of travel like being able to make turns in spaces where conventional wheel rotation would not allow us to maneuver. Now if we were to use the popular OpenCV library for computer vision applications in Python we can write a simple script that allows us to monitor the onboard camera feed from the vehicle while we drive it around. This is super cool and a lot of fun. It becomes a remote pilotable vehicle and helps the driver look out for crashes and I guess I should mention, again, because it's a Raspberry Pi, I just connect the actual computer to the Wi-Fi, and then I can remote desktop into it from my desktop or laptop, and so I can do all the programming from a computer. I don't have to be physically hooked up to the machine the whole time, which is really nice. So these are some pretty cool basic features, and they showcase a lot of the cool basics of the vehicle. Now let's check out how you can add external sensors to enhance the functionality of the car. These are infrared proximity sensors. They light up and detect when objects are in front of them. You can obviously picture how this would be useful for a vehicle by detecting when a collision may be imminent and commanding the vehicle to stop. I can use the standard GPIO or general purpose inputs and outputs library for communication with these devices. I need to hook the three pins per sensor to power, ground, and an input, respectively. Now with some custom 3D printed brackets, I can mount these proximity sensors to the body of the car, and I can write a quick program to basically say, use this side proximity sensor as an indexer to track how many zones you've passed on this little obstacle course. Then I can use the one in front to say, for any reason that gets blocked, stop and back up a little. 
So if I command the car two zones forward, it will use that side proc sensor to determine how far it's gone. But if I command it to go forward more zones than we actually have, the front sensor will trigger to prevent a collision. Pretty cool, and you can picture this being easily expandable to more sensors or combining it with outputs as well to potentially get to a specific spot, then perform some action and go back based on sensor feedback. And while driving this around and pulling some cool moves, let me tell you a little bit more about Elephant Robotics. Elephant Robotics makes a variety of super cool robots and electronic tools that can be used as a platform for learning and teaching robotics or for basic industrial applications or prototyping any new systems. In addition to this super cool my AGV, they make the My Cobot 6 axis robotic arm and lots of other cool and high quality products. So be sure to check them out at the link in the description below this video. So that's all pretty fun and awesome, but strictly speaking, not really autonomous yet, like self driving autonomous. For that, we need to look at a different feature on this vehicle. Let's take a look at how this AGV can map and navigate autonomously using LiDAR. So LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging and is basically a technology that emits infrared waves in all directions and measures how long it takes for the waves to return and bounce back to the vehicle. It's not that different from sonar that bats and submarines use except with like lasers instead of sound waves. And the My AGV supports ROS commands. So it's pretty quick and easy to get going with some of this basic LiDAR functionality. ROS stands for Robot Operating System and is basically an open source framework meant to create a somewhat universal way of interacting with and controlling robotic systems. It is admittedly one of the more complicated parts of this project, and if you're more of an electrical or mechanical person than a software person, in my opinion, the ROS piece of this project is not super intuitive. But basically, with a few Linux console commands, we can turn on the LiDAR scanning and run a cool combo program called LiDAR SLAM. So the LiDAR gathers data about its surroundings and distance from obstacles. Then the SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, builds a map of the surroundings and figures out where the vehicle currently lives within that map. You can then drive the robot around its environment using a keyboard or gaming controller to create a map of the environment. Then when you've created a completed map that you're happy with, you can turn it over to autonomous control and ask the robot to navigate itself to a specific point within the map. And this is super cool because this is basically, hey, I want you to get from point A to point B and I do not care how you do it level of autonomy. Now, one pretty cool thing I haven't covered yet is that this AGV can be directly integrated to work with the Elephant Robotics My Cobot 6 axis robotic arm which means you can build a system that can drive anywhere in space, retrieve something using a six axis robot, and then bring it back or almost anything else that you could think of. And that's gonna be our next video on the channel. So if you have any suggestions or ways you think that would be fun or cool to see, let me know about in the comments below. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, consider checking out my Patreon if you wanna help me do bigger and better and cooler projects in the future. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, a huge thank you to Elephant Robotics for sponsoring the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.